you're not really often getting anything that's a big bargain. Totally betrayed. It was it was out and out false advertising. Like those I've never even seen in the store outside of here. Tell them the secrets. <laughs> Do you want to be in this? If this is your first time here, hello, I'm Hope, you're liking Queen. This is my co-host, Leo, and we're your number one source for all things fit fashion. And today we are investigating shopping outlets. There's a widespread belief that the quality of the things that you're getting in the outlets isn't actually the same as the quality that you're getting in the stores. And it's actually been proven from a few brands, meaning they're purposely making slightly lesser quality items made from materials that aren't quite as expensive, hardware that's a little cheaper, they're not embellished, quite the same. So because it's a lower production cost, they're able to sell them at the discounted outlet price. You see it with Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and some of them are a little bit easier to catch. Like you'll notice the tags that say Banana Republic Factory, or that have the little diamonds versus just the plain tags, give it away that they're an outlet item rather than the original Banana Republic. Okay, you want to lay on your bed? Right there. So you'll find tons of articles about brands like that, but today I want to dive into active wear to see if our good friends over in the workout wear department are doing the same thing. We were in Vegas last week and I thought, what better place to do it than here? Because they have one of the biggest shopping outlets. All right, we've arrived at the outlets. We can find parking in this place with all the stories you could possibly imagine, but I had my eye on a specific three. Adidas, Lululemon, and Nike. Everything in this video is just based on my personal experience and the things that I was told by the employees. If you have had a different experience or if you work in retail, feel free to let me know in the comments below. The first place that we went was Adidas. I wanted to find a way to like bring the conversation up to an employee that wasn't just flat out, hey, is your stuff bad quality here? <laughs> so I started chatting with them about these purple ultra boosts. Mm about these purple ultra boosts. Okay, but aren't they pretty? Like I've been searching for the perfect pair of purple shoes for so long. Anyway, we were both getting super hyped about them. And my sneaky little bum goes, hey, I noticed these are full price and we're at the outlet. How does that work? I mean, I'm still getting them, but. <laughs> she explained that there are a few late 2019 items in the outlet store that are still full price. She said that you might be able to find them in two or three months at a discounted rate. They'll probably be super picked over by then. So it's an item that wasn't necessarily selling super quick in the main retail stores, but it's not ready to be discounted yet. <laughs> Tyler didn't beat her on the bush. He just went up to an employee in the shoe section and just straight out asked. Is it the same quality as like a regular yeah, like same thing. Or, same thing? Yep. And the guy was like, yep, yep, same quality. Like, of course he's gonna say that. What? <laughs> but then he had a conversation with another one after I coached him, you know, that you don't just flat out ask that. <laughs> is this stuff made for like, uh, just specifically for the outlet or are they like, like is this stuff in the regular stores? Um, sometimes they are just made for the outlet, sometimes they're different from other stores, it just kind of depends. Even like those I've never even seen in a store outside of here. And he did confirm that some shoes are meant specifically to be sold in the outlet location and they never actually made it full price retail on the Adidas website or stores. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that they're lesser quality, but if they were produced to be sold for cheaper, you can kind of put two and two together, that they probably didn't pay as much producing them. So back to my conversation with my employee. I asked, so how does it all work? Especially with the clothes, because that was what I was most concerned about. <laughs> Leggings. I asked, are all of the styles in here overflow styles or were some of them made specifically for the outlet location? And she told me many of the items in the store were made for outlet. She pointed to some track suits, t-shirts, some of the jogger racks. It seemed the only stuff that wasn't made from outlets were the big clearance racks that were just like a mod podge of random sizes and styles. None of this came as a surprise to me. When I just walked in and started feeling them, I could sense that they were just a little bit off. <laughs> Not quite the same as the ones that I paid $80 for for it digs. But from a business perspective, it makes sense, especially that outlet because it's such a tourist destination. They want styles that are available in all sizes. Okay, really quick before we go any further, you guys know that I like to do a giveaway every single week and give back to you guys that are subscribed and are regularly watching the videos. And it just allows you guys to try out some of this cool gear that I review every week. Here are the winners from last week's Lorna Jane video. Enjoy your $100 gift cards, guys. And this week I have partnered with Drop to give 100 of you a shopping credit. I'll tell you how to enter in just a sec. We're over here discussing the smartest places to shop for these brands, when really the best way to shop is through the Drop app because the app gives you points back for shopping at all of your favorite brands like Lululemon, Nike, Adidas. 
<laughs> and then the points that you earn turn into free gift cards that you can redeem for like a free Starbucks drink, your groceries, an Amazon gift card, and so much more. This is how easy it is. You open the Drop app, search the brands that you're looking for, and then when you click shop, it takes you to the website and you would just shop on the website like you normally do. And that's it. Once you check out, Drop will take care of the rest and add the points to your account. For example, if you buy a pair of Lululemon leggings for $98, you get 40 points for every $1 spent at Lululemon. That adds up to 3,920 points. That's a lot of points. So as you're shopping, spending money on travel, getting an Uber, why not get points back for all of that? Okay, so the giveaway that I mentioned. I partnered up with Drop and we will be giving away an assortment of rewards to all my viewers. As soon as you download the Drop app, you're already gonna get rewarded some points. Everybody receives bonus points if you sign up with my code that's down below, but in addition, 100 lucky winners are going to be selected at random to receive a bonus rewards worth five to $25. That's free money that you can redeem on the app. All you need to do is download Drop using the link down in my description, link your credit or debit card, and you are set. If you're downloading from the App Store or Google Play, you'll just insert my code and link a card. Linking your card is very important to get your points and to enter to win. Good luck and enjoy your rewards. Okay, back to the video. All right, the next place we went was Nike, and we spent well over an hour in this store trying to get this figured out. <laughs> we asked four separate employees, including a manager, about the outlet versus retail quality, where these items are coming from, and either nobody understood our question or they just couldn't answer it. But I had a theory. So there were several, probably 70% of the store, I recognized a lot of the styles. They were styles that I've paid full price for in the past. Is this the one that I bought and paid full price for? Yeah, it is. I also paid full price for this. Oh, well, that's the same too. The windbreaker. And the fuzzy. Oh, like this is all too. stuff that was in Dick's earlier last year. Or that I've at least seen in their big retail stores or like Dick's Sporting Goods. So I know they're legit. They're from two or three seasons ago. Right, that's what we all assume an outlet is. But <laughs> there was like a whole row, a whole section, a little like sub brand that I felt was definitely less quality than most of the Nike stuff I've purchased before. And they all had the same little code on the tags. <laughs> when we asked an employee about what this line was, they just said, that th those are our premium outlet items. Mm. Once again, most of them were priced at full price. Some of them were on sale though. So just for funsies, I got one of them. They're just like this super basic cottony, like wanna be a Nike pro legging, but they're not. <laughs> They have the little swooshes all over them, the elastic band. And the only name that I see on them is this tight fit. So then I went over to the section that I know is legit and I found some leggings that are also the tight fit collection, but the whole tag is different. Like there's a lot more information on the tag. The actual like care tag has a lot more packed onto it. But here's the thing about both of these leggings, despite the vastly different quality of both of them, these ones were 55 originally. The premium outlet brand one was 50 originally. They're both marked down to 34, $39. And that just boggles my mind because they're not even in the same ballpark as far as quality. <laughs> okay, so the outlet ones were made in Vietnam and these ones were made in Vietnam. Mm. <laughs> I've been spending way too much time on TikTok because all that's going through my head right now is we in that same home. And then we went over to the shoe section. And my theory was that the red boxes were premium outlet shoe styles. And then the orange stuff were like the legit, they were in the big retail store styles. Just cause same thing, like the quality of those ones just did not seem as great. But one of the employees came over and kiboshed that theory. Generally, we do have stuff sent specifically for us, but it's usually just a generation or two behind. It's not like some off. He said that the red boxes were more the lifestyle shoes where the orange boxes were the training shoes. I could see that. Once he said that, it made sense. But I don't know, there was a black and white pair that felt suspiciously cheap to me and they were in a red box. <laughs> Here's kind of my final thoughts on Nike. I don't think it's even necessarily like an outlet versus legit retail thing. I think it's just their business model in general. I think what Nike tries to do is appeal to a very broad audience. So they have their super limited edition, really high quality pieces, but then they also have their kind of more basic styles. I think they're just a big company with a very wide product range and manufacturers all over the world. I'm not bashing them in any way because I got 
a steal of a deal at that outlet. Like, let me just, so I got both of these leggings that are $50 leggings each, supposedly. I got these Metcon fly knits, regularly 150. And look how cute they are. They're like white, and then they have this fun marble print on the bottom, and nine pairs of socks. <laughs> All four, $140. Can you believe that? Okay, and just for fun, we wanted to go into Jimmy Choo because I've always been a big fan of Jimmy Choo shoes. And I know that they were acquired by Michael Kors a couple years ago, and Michael Kors is one of the infamous brands of doing the whole different things in outlets that are in their main stores. So I wanted to see what their whole business model was like these days. It was no surprise they have implemented a similar business strategy. So of course, the full price retail items that don't sell at the major Jimmy Choo boutiques do end up in the outlet. Like these white sneakers with the little embellishment. I remember seeing these, I think, Christmas time last year and I wanted them so bad, but they were almost a thousand dollars. Now you can find them in the outlet for like 300. But when we were talking to the employee that worked there, she said they do make styles that are specifically for the outlet that they're going to continue making and just putting in the outlet. Okay, Lululemon. I don't think I'd ever been in this outlet before. My initial thought was that the Lululemon outlet was gonna be like a in real life, we made too much section like they have on the website. And most of the time the sizes are pretty picked over. And right off the bat, that theory was pretty much proven because as soon as you walked in, you could tell that it was mostly winter gear that they were getting rid of. And just like on the website, my size was totally picked over. <laughs> I would say if you are a man or you're buying man things, or you're a size 8, 10, 12. Those were the sections that had the biggest selection. Zero through six, not so much. But we did meet a friend named Pat that watches my videos and she was so helpful. <laughs> you're totally on YouTube, right? <laughs> oh my God. Right Hi. <laughs> and she basically like confirmed that it's a we made too much in real life. <laughs> but I still found some good stuff. Okay, I had to show you guys this one because, uh, what video was that? Oh, it was last time I went to Vegas. I got that tie-dye t-shirt and it was like $70. So I found it at the outlet. Not in the tie-dye, but it's in this cute little purple color. And this one's only $39. Okay, I had to get this and show it to you guys because the number one question that I get in my DMs is what pair of leggings should I buy? <laughs> Naturally. And then the second most frequently asked question that I get is I need a high support sports bra, where do I get it? Even though sports bras have literally one job, it is so hard to find a high support sports bra that does its job. But they had a very good selection over at that outlet of both these run times bras and the in light bras, which are phenomenal high support sports bras. So this is regularly 68, got it on sale for 49, which is not bad. They have the adjustable straps and then the adjustable clasp on the back too. Just amazing quality. It's like all the aspects of your regular bra plus all the aspects of a sports bra that you love put into one. I also found this little jacket that I already ripped the tags off and wore, so I don't remember what it's called, but hi, that's cute. <laughs> and then naturally I had to get some leggings, you know, just in case just in case Lululemon was trying to pull a fast one on us. So I found some Aligns, regularly 98. These ones were on sale for 69. I am pretty positive they're exactly the same thing as a regular Align. These are just kind of a special edition print that maybe didn't sell out as quickly as they thought it would, so it ended up in the outlet. Let's just check for fun. They feel pretty much the same. I mean, these ones are a little softer because I've obviously washed them a bunch. Fabric, 80% nylon, 20% lycra, exactly the same. These ones were made in Vietnam. These ones are made in Cambodia. That is mean anything. Lots of brands have different manufacturers all over. But no, these outlet versions look exactly the same as the regular ones. I think you're safe with the Lululemon outlet. <laughs> Moral of this story, and I guess what it comes down to is do we like it? Do we feel like we're getting a good value? Then let's get it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Make sure to check out the drop app that I mentioned earlier if you want to be a part of that giveaway. And Leo and I, but you gotta wake up and come over here. Say bye, YouTube. Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E But see, I ain't even tripping, cause I just chose to believe That somebody gon' come around and give me just what I need